Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Star Wars Empire at War. Today we're in the Yoda mod. Now this is regarded as one of the most overpowered mods in Empire War as possible. Yoda basically combines every sort of major faction in the Star Wars universe, throws them together and expects you to fight to the death. Which is what we're going to do. So let's get into this. Uh, we're going to be playing as the First Order today because I know a lot of you have been asking this. Against the Resistance, I think that's going to be quite good. Or should we do a New Republic? Ooh, um... I'll tell you what, we'll do, um, we'll do, let's do resistance, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm also going to up the credits to a maximum, just because I'd like to see us be able to get all the units and play around them. Anyway, let's go. I think this will be quite cool. So the Yoda mods regard as like one of those overpowered and just stupidly powerful mods, which is awesome in a way, because it's nice to have this mod where you can chuck around these stuff. We don't even need to game credits, but these are the first order TIE Fighters. They look OP. Look at that. So straight off about there, pretty cool. Uh, let's send our fleet around here then. I don't think we're going to need to do that much because we've already got the credits to upgrade, so... Uh, so this has been Nebulon K frigates. Oh, I'll we'll take one of those. And the Lancer class frigate. Awesome, so I'll reach you to be biased with these things in a minute. Nebulon K frigate were the first order frigates employed around 30 years after the Battle of Endor. This vessel could launch TIE fighters and attached moorings. Commander Poe Dameron was one of the resistance retreated from at least one of the Nebulon Ks when a task was responded to a distress call. So basically, I think like the start of the universe, or particularly the Star Wars universe, is these were discovered, like the first order of ship classes were discovered, and there's like people like, oh no, they're building ships. But I really like how the fighters drop out of them, it looks quite cool. Also the Yodin, like, well you'll see in a minute, this is just uh, literally stupidly OP, but in a good way. I noticed the Nebulon Ks, we've seen them in Star Wars before, I'm pretty sure. We've seen them in Star yeah, I'm pretty sure we have, at least. Or I might be going mental, I don't know. Those are Resistance, they're Resistance fighters, I think, so they're TX-5s. Nebulon B, oh this is the Lancer class, so these have been around since the Age of the Empire. They're nothing too new. Um, fighters, respond to them, those are, what are they? There, nothing anymore, <laughs> they just got destroyed. Um, okay, so we need to get our turrets and stuff set up here. Just so we've got a line of defense. We've got our first order TIE Fires. Do we have the special forces? So these are the these are the first order TIE Fires, FO. Uh, improved solar cells, higher capacity converters, making these ships even deadlier than TIEs, which is uh, quite cool. We'll deploy another Lancer, um, probably here. We might have put, should have put the AR on like a different difficulty, but they get uh, credits as well, so it'd be interesting to see what they've got. That's T-70 X-Wing. Oh, hello. Um, MC-30 prototype. Did not expect that to pop around. TIE fires, respond. Well, how are they calling in reinforcements over here? Those are the A-Wings, aren't they? Those are their new type of A-Wings, which have uh, just got owned anyway. Right, we need to set up our defences. We need to set up our mines. I mean, we don't need them, but it's it's good to have them. Oh, look at this. We've got Kylo Ren, and we also have... Is this the... This is a Victory Destroyer Mark III. Also, it's a Victory Mark III class. Um, this is obviously improved on the Imperial one, so I don't need to read you much about that. Uh, what else do we have? First one, TIE Bomber. I've not seen that. This is a Special Forces one, so we'll get a couple of these. And uh, is this the... What the ship's this? This is Victory Destroyer Mark II and III. Oh, okay, so we've got both variants. Choose your reinforcements. So we don't actually have many voices. Oh, it's just a shuttle. I was hoping we won't have a TIE Silencer. I think this mod was done before the last Jedi, though, so... But then again, his um his shuttle is quite powerful. Now we've got a Special Forces TIE Fighter. Have we got defences over here? No, we need to get our asteroid defences. Send out a frigate over there. I want to get a finalizer because in this mod you can obviously get the finalizer, uh, one of the most really cool ships from Star Wars. We need to claim these bases around here. What I love about the Yoda mod is everything is so vanilla yet stupidly overpowered anyway. Send me a TIE fighter to that sensor pod. Fire engines. Oh, that's invulnerability, isn't it? Not engines. They've got some weird moves. Our space station is under attack. Oh, hey, X Wings are moving in. Ah, don't worry about it. Go after the stragglers. Have we captured this base? We have. What have we got here then? Is this, um, Trandoshan Boss Havoc? The Havoc possesses exceptional speed, armor. Oh, that's the boss ship, isn't it? Then we've got pirate things. Pirate Interceptor and Pirate Cruiser. We don't need any of them. 
Oh, hello. That's a lot of fights over there. Let's do a few upgrades a minute. Upgrade in progress. Hello, right. Okay, we've got an upgrade now. So we've got Star Destroyer Mark III. The Imperial class Star Destroyer. Um, I was reading that at the same time. Go back there. Uh, there's an upgrade version of Imperial Mark II. Upgrades include increased shielding, firepower, additional squadron, and faster hyperdrive. We're going to get one of these anyway. Upgrade in progress. They're sending a lot of fighters this way. They don't seem to have many ships. I was hoping like the Alliance would have built more stuff, but I guess this gives me a chance to show you guys like the First Order at the height of their power. Unless they don't have many units, the AI may not be as intelligent as it should be. They're destroying my stuff. They are. They're destroying my sensor. Get in there. Get in there. Go, go, go. They're building a lot of forces around. Oh, we've got Poe Dameron as well. That's going to be a pain. I love if he's just a single unit. That's going to be... Uh... Oh, he took an invisible. Um, this is going to be awkward, I think. We've just lost our sense of relay. That's annoying. Now, hopefully, we get to finalize the next rounds. Let's see. Oh, I can't click on my icons. There we go. We've got Hux and the um, rec Resurgent class. So we've got... We can build a finalizer, which we're going to do now, but we can also build the Surgic class destroyers as well, which we're going to do, because they are stupidly OP. It'd be good if we could build with Supremacy. Imagine if that was in this mod. So they've got Poe Dameron. Um, I don't know where he's gone. The Nebula is affecting our sensors. So we've got General Hux. Lone look at the finalizer. Look how big the Resurgent class is. I never noticed they painted their logo on the side, but that is just stupidly OP. Do we have ventral cannons? Use the ventral cannons. No, I don't think we do. It'd be good if that was actually a thing. What's that, Poe Dameron? You're not going to argue this. You wouldn't really argue about Star Destroyer if it came out of like hyperspace, would you? Considering it's destroyed. I don't think we have ventral cannons. It's a shame. I'd like to see them. Concussion, concussion. Because they made a point of it in The Force Awakens, but they never really followed up on it. It's a shame, because that was quite a cool unit. I'd like to see more of them. So we've kind of like dominated the battlefield now by how many resurgents we have. We could do a few more, though. These are the first order units. Obviously, we do have the traditional Star Destroyers as well. They're just uh, not as cool. We go capture our relay base. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just the Ninka class. Nebulon Ranger Forget. This looks quite cool. I like the look of these. They are destroying our turrets. They can't damage it, though. Awaiting our orders. In fact, we don't even need to do that. Let's give us fighters. I will show you the way. Okay, so we've got... Uh, we can build a special first order station. Let's build that. We can also build a Starkiller base. Um, okay, and this is a special asteroid base. Alright, we'll build that as well, and that. Begin charging the weapon. Uh oh. That just lagged subsequently when I spawned that in there for a minute. Oh, they've got a few of these ships again. They've now spawned in a Mon Calamari starship. What is this? A repair bay frigate. I didn't even know it was cannon. I don't think it is cannon, it's just. Oh, they've got a hammerhead as well. They've got a hammerhead core there. That's really out of date now. They've got a lot more units coming in now. We need to spawn in these uh, bases over here. So let's bring in a special off station and the asteroid base. Now, these won't give us much, but it gives us the ability to get a few more things, which is good. Uh, what says this is the jukebox station? I don't need short music, to be honest. Uh, laser defense. We don't need that. Let's get us a couple more surgeons. Can't go wrong with them. Those uh, ships are quite cool. These are repair bay frigates. Extremely fast capital ship destroyer. Oh, it's a capital ship destroyer. Healing for fighter and bomber close to him. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a nice, cool design. I like it. Uh, we've lost our fighters, haven't we? Yes, we have. General Huck has sat up there, looking miserable as usual. Oh, no, no. That did little to nothing damage. That little cruiser over here is running away. He's a massive on fire there. 
We need to test this out as a new Republic later on. That would be quite cool. Oh, more MC30s coming in. Oh, he's really coming in now. We've got them on scope. Let's see a First Order Star Destroyer crush this. Because we've not actually seen the First Order Star Destroyers in battle against anything. Which is a shame. Because I think they're pretty cool ships. We just don't see them in battle. Our TIE Fighters are doing enough damage. I love the amount of missiles the First Order Destroyer has. Look at that, there's concussion missiles everywhere. Attack commencing. Got more A-Wings? Jesus Christ. Right, let's fast forward and hopefully we can get um, a new couple of units. Oh, they've upgraded. Hmm, what have they got then? Can build that super unit. It's a shame we can't get the supremacy in game. I hope maybe they add that in one day. Oh, hang on. Oh, we've got a War Master Starbase. I don't know what a War Master Starbase is, but it's got a picture of Snoke. Um, maybe it's going to transform our Starbase into the supremacy. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? What? What? We've got a lot of X-Wings and A-Wings. I don't know if the Resistance has that many units, that's why we've not got many forces, so uh, yeah. This has apparently been upgraded now. I don't know what it did. Nothing about it. Okay, we'll roll with it. Increase the supplies. We've got enough supplies. We're just building this at the minute. We're building um, Starkiller Base. No idea what it does, but it's probably going to be a waste of time. <laughs> I just mentioned like one of those one-time use units is just not going to do much. Can we, yeah, can we move these around here, please? Heading to, Heading to destination. These Star Destroyers are moving up. We've got Starkiller Base in... now. Oh my Christ, can we just... Where can I fit this? Um, anyone know? Um, do you reckon it's a little bit OTT to have Starkiller Base here? Star Destroyer reporting in. I don't know, you tell me. Let's just, uh, maybe the camera will flip around so we can see it. Jesus Christ. So, I mean, what happens if we fire? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Okay, there's nothing left. Choose your reinforcements. Reinforcements cancelled. We're moving out. Reinforcements cancelled. Move out. Lots of Star Destroyers. The last day of the Republic. I love that you can turn on a hunt mode for it. Like, it's gonna eliminate things like that. The last day of the Republic. Do you reckon we can just fire on the um, that base? I don't know whether we can or not. Look, it's turning. That is amazing. I love it. Look at that. OP. The droid will soon be delivered into the hands of the Republic. It's a shame the Resistance didn't put up much more of a fight. I thought it was going to be harder, so that's why I didn't set it to. Um, I didn't set them to like master. Pre-wipe them out. <laughs> that was, uh... Uncalled for, but I think we got the point across. And that's them gone. Well, there you go. That's the First Order versus the Resistance. Uh, a very overpowered. Uh, so they lost 27 A-Wings, 25 T-70s, 2 Nebulon Rangers, a Hammerhead, two M55s while we lost 13 TIE Fighters and another TIE Fighter, so 14 altogether. Yeah, that was um, rather OP. And we've got custom maps on here as well, which we must try out at some point. So yeah, we're going to have to show that one off to you at some point. But yes, guys, if you'd like to see more of a Yoda mod, make sure to leave a like on this video. And would you guys like to see First Order versus New Republic? 
because I think it'd be quite cool to show off Starkiller Base yet again versus the New Republic fleet. Leave a like on this video if you'd like to see that. Also, comment down below telling me you'd like to see it as well. I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.